I am Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. This is the third video in the Llama Index series. The first one was just the normal overview of Llama Index and how you can create a chat with documents with PDF. Second one, I showed you how you can do similar kind of things but use Pinecone instead of the default index provided by Llama Index. This one, what I decided to do is what if we want to go through text to SQL? Because Llama Index helps us to connect the only structured, structured and semi-structured data sources. So structured data source is, for example, it's given here Excel or SQL kind of things. In this example, let's go with SQL and how we can take SQL data and ask some questions into it and we get the answer out of it. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the Google Collab Notebook that I'm going to go through in this video and I have already uploaded this into my GitHub account. I'll provide the link in the description and all the notebooks that I'm going through in this Llama Index series is provided here. You can just go here. Let's say that you want to go with text to SQL, the one that I'm going to present today. Just click on this one and there is a link to open that into the Google Collab. Just open that in Google Collab and this is the notebook that you will be appearing to then you can follow along first thing first we need to install the necessary packages right this first line of code does exactly that for us and the capture captures all the jargons that it shows in the notebook so it's just clean here and we just import the necessary things first i will show you the simple text to sql with the nl sql table query engine and later I will show you with the SQL table retriever query engine where you can have let's say multiple tables and how to uh, take the information of it. These are just the things that we need to import and the first thing we are going to use is the basic text to SQL with NL SQL table query engine right. I just import the necessary things from SQL alchemy that is what we are going to use and we are going to create a SQL Alchemy engine object that connects to an in-memory DocDB database. If we run these two lines of code, we are creating the engine and then we have this metadata object also being created. You might be wondering why DocDB? I have shown in the LangChain also this SQL Lite and other things. It's, it's easier and embedded so you don't need to install separately. But here DocDB is quite good because if you just go to this website, it is an in-process SQL OLAP database management system. You might be hearing OLAP and OLTP kind of things. You can go through this website and know in depth what is DocDB kind of things explained here in depth and what are the benefits of using it and when to use DocDB as well as when not to use because some things you cannot just use it randomly in all the use cases, right? So you can just go through this website and see which best fit your use case. If it does not fit, then go with the other ones. But here I'm just using this. And what I'm going to do now is create the CTSQL table. Just a random name here, table it's being provided. And then we are creating the table, providing some columns and metadata object and so on. So, and then we pass the metadata object and create all and we pass the engine. What happens after this? is now our table is being created. We can just print the tables here. There is a table called city stats. There is a table now, but we need to insert some values into that table. How to do that? So we are using SQL Alchemy, as I said you before, there is insert method. We provided some value here, rows. And for row in eaters, I don't need to go through the code. It's what it does. It just inserts value into that particular table. When I go here and print select all from city stats, it shows us, okay, that is Toronto, the population and Canada. This is what we are giving here, city name, population and the country. Now we inserted something into the table, but we don't, we don't have the SQL database ob object. We need to create that. From Llama index, we import the SQL database. And this is just one line of code. In the SQL database, we provide the engine and then we include that particular table. So when we provide this, then our SQL database is being created. That's all. So next thing is the index. This is the main part of Llama index. There is the index and the engine. They are the main part 
what llama index is about just on a higher level index is the data structure that allow us to quickly retrieve relevant context for our user query because when i showed you the previous example in chat with documents also we created the index so knowledge base we need to provide the open ai api keys da vinci model is being used by llama index and but we can provide this piece of code in order to provide our own model. It's not necessary that you need to provide OpenAI, you can provide other things also. But this is how you can provide different model name. And we need to provide this into the engine, providing as the service context. But before that, you need to go to OpenAI website. I have provided the link here. Just click this, it will take you to the OpenAI platform. Create a new secret key. Just give random name if you want. Let's say Llama index. Okay, so mistake here. And then we create the secret. I'm showing you this because I'm going to revoke this or delete this once I create this feed. I need to just go here and paste it here. When I run this and I define the LLM and then I need to pass this service context inside this annual sql query engine if you don't provide the service context it is going to use a default one you don't need to create this it's up to you which one you want i just want to show you that it is possible to do this also so yeah now everything is done we just need to ask questions and it is going to retrieve the answer the query is passed and the engine takes the answer out of the out of the index so here I'm just asking which city has the highest population. And now it is saved in the variable name response. It is going to go through it. It's quite fast. And then I can just go ahead and pass the response. The city which has the highest population is two. Let's go and see if the answer is correct. So here we have 2,679,000. There is 9 million. Is it 9 million? Yes. And there is 13 million. So yeah, we have the Tokyo, the highest population. That's correct. And now if you want to go and see what is the metadata also, you can just print the metadata. And now if you read, if you see here, the, the response just provides the, okay, which CT has the highest population, it provides the answer for. But let's say that you also want to provide the population also into the answer. So that's when the prompt engineering kicks in in the query itself you can add some more information to also provide the population if i run this and if i just print the response so it is going to provide me okay the city with the highest population is tokyo the same answer it provides before and with a population of 13 million 960 and it's well formatted also but if you see here it is not formatted i need to look carefully but here it's well formatted so it's easier to read also so yeah this is the simple way how you can retrieve the information but let's go through the advanced text to sql with sql table retriever query engine why i'm showing you this is because let's assume that you have a large number of tables in your database and putting all the table schemas into the prompt may overflow the text to sql prompt because everything is the prompt here right Whatever you provide the prompt, that's what the large language model gives us the answer. So we first index the schemas with our object index. That's what it does before. And then use our engine, this particular one, as abstraction on top of that. So yeah, let's see how, how it goes. First thing first is the same thing we did before. We need to create the engine and then create city stats SQL thing. This is how we create this and we create a, a list here and we provide this city but then what we are saying here is let's say that we create a ton of dummy uh, table here we are providing 100 with this piece of code it is going to create many tables for us and then we can just pass this here and let's see that how many tables are being created so all tables so the first one is city stats as it is shown here and all the others are appended there with the name temp table zero so we said here temp table i meaning that it goes from zero to 99 right so that's 100 that's how it being 
added here and if you scroll a little bit down there is temp table 99 it starts from zero so 100 tables along with the previous one that we had so yeah if we just want to go and see the first one data as i showed you before also you can go here and see now this is empty why because we haven't inserted any dummy data into it that we just created the table and now with this piece of code we are inserting the data into it so the same as before there is this row and for row in rows and we just provide this into this connection what it does is insert something into that particular uh, city uh, stats table if i go here and now if i print it it will show us okay these are the answers there but in the table 99 we haven't inserted anything it's just to show you that okay there is one table and there is 99 other or 100 other tables but if we ask the questions what happens with large language model and for us also we need to at least check if there is something right that's the reason why we create tons of dummy data so that it goes through each of these and it retrieves the information using this advanced query engine and what it does first is index the schemas with the object index and then the sql retrieval query engine abstraction on top of it so it's easier way to retrieve the information correct so yeah now let's go into the line where we left here and then we create the sql database as we did before so the database is by now being created and we create the object index right so i just import the necessary things here and here we have the node mapping so we need to map that things which as we said before so here is the sql table node mapping and in the node mapping what we do is provide the sql database if you know what is happening here it's quite easy to understand each and every step right and then there is this table scheme object we just empty list first and what we do is for table name in all table names we have this 101 tables table schema object dot append and we are appending all of those things there and we create the index out of it as you can see here object index dot from objects and we are providing the table schema object we are providing the table name mappings as well as the vector store index yeah then if we just run this it will take some time and it is going to create the object index for us once we have the index the next step is to do the query using the in right but just to show you what is this one you can just print so here are all the different things that we just created and now yeah query with the engine powerful engine that llama index has provided this is how you can create the query engine so sql table retriever query engine and you pass the sql database and also the object index as retriever and here we are just saying similarity top k equals to one you can play around with this and this is the service context that i was talking about you can pass this or not i have commented here you can uncomment i can uncomment actually and then use this to use the gpt 3.5 our query engine is being created now what to do it just asks the question as we did before i asked the same question which city has the highest population and there is the response and if we want to have just the response here is the answer if you want to have the metadata and there is the metadata provided for us so i hope now you know how to query your sql tables from the sql database i have shown you in my lang chain video also how to use the sql chain it's kind of similar but it's just using two different frameworks right you can just try whichever best fits your use cases you can try with this one with different models and you can try with the lang chain one also with different models and just find the one that best fits your use case and try and use that in your work or in your project or whatever you want to so yeah this is all in this video now we went through the uh, on structured data we went through the structured data so let's assume that you have structured data as well as some information of that structured data in the on structure form how to get information from both of these the next video will be about that how we can use the good engine provided by llama index to query data from those kind of scenarios thank you for watching and see you in the next week